The level design in the Souls series is one of the best you can find in any game from this or previous generations of games. But unbeknownst to many people, a lot of the locations that you encounter in the game are based off real life locations. And today I'm going to be showing you 5 real life locations that inspire the world of Dark Souls 3. So please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt because we are going on a journey around the world. First we have is Arch Dragon Peak. Arch Dragon Peak is a very unique location that is also hard to find and it has one of my favorite bosses in the game, the Nameless King. But did you know that this location is heavily inspired by Byzantine slash Ottoman architecture and you can clearly see this in the boss fight arena of the Nameless King, as the mausoleum is inspired by Hagia Sophia which was a Greek Orthodox Christian church later converted into an Ottoman mosque and now a museum. And also the blue mosque which also has the same design as Hagia Sophia and the mausoleum in Archdragon Peak. Also, very interestingly, you can find stones that have Arabic inscriptions on them and they are scattered everywhere in Arch Dragon Peak, although what they translate to are basically a random Egyptian article about the transport minister being mad about some railroads development being delayed. Like, what the f from software, really? <laughs> So, Arch Dragon Peak has many influences such as Arabic, Byzantine, and Ottoman, but the mausoleum in particular seems to be a more direct inspiration. The Cathedral of the Deep Now, this caught my attention when I saw the concept art for the Cathedral of the Deep before the game was released, and when I was researching it further, I came across this brilliant Reddit post made by a person called The Blood Makes Us Human, that explains everything in great detail, but I'm gonna give you the gist of it and the important stuff. Basically, the design of the Cathedral of the Deep is inspired by two major religious places, and the first being St. Peter's Basilica located in Rome, Italy. They are both absolutely massive, the square columns decorated with statues and the massive bulk that they both have are very similar to St. Peter's columns. The overuse of statues also makes the two buildings feel very similar, and also at the end of the main hall there is a dome with an altar underneath it, and overall the layout and design is very similar to it, but we aren't done just yet with this area. The second inspiration being in the Deacons of the Deep boss room which is the Kaaba, the most revered religious site in Islam located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Aldrich is clearly to the deep and the way of white supposedly what Muhammad is to Islam and what Christ is to Christianity. They all share a similarity as the main figure and the symbols of their religion. Also the added detail of the statues on the tomb clearly draw more of a Catholic Christian aesthetics of the place but the shape, placement and lore importance evoke the Kaaba. So it is no coincidence that Miyazaki drew from the most religious sites of both Catholics with the St. Peter's in the Vatican and that of Islam, the Kaaba and Mecca to create a religious setting in the game. Irithyll of the Boreal Valley Irithyll is one of the best looking areas in the Souls series or gaming in general in my opinion. Now the entirety of Irithyll is based off gothic architecture and many of you who played Bloodborne would notice this as well. Now the Grand Cathedral which you find Pontiff Sullivan in is heavily inspired by Westminster Abbey, which is a large mainly gothic abbey church in the city of Westminster, London. You can see the similarities in the building structures and most notably the north entrance of the Westminster Abbey, which is also what might have inspired the great city of An Orlando itself, alongside the Milan Cathedral which is located in Milan, Italy. Also, the outside architecture and the interior are heavily inspired by Chartres Cathedral located in Chartres, France, as you can see on the screen right now. Next we have is the profaned capital, and the architecture is clearly Romanesque, as you can see this briefly with the tower that the bonfire is in, as it looks exactly like the Pisa Tower found in Pisa, Italy. Also, the design of the columns is an old Roman design named Tuscan Columns, and you can see the actual columns and the ones in-game right here. Although I couldn't find an exact inspiration for the entrance of the profaned capital, but it seems like a mix between two architecture styles, one of them being Roman. Lothric Castle Lothric Castle has one of the best castle designs in the Dark Souls series, and it seems Miyazaki has taken multiple inspirations from multiple designs in the castle. The first being the ceiling design used, which is a gothic rib vault ceiling. And there are the columns which are Corinthian which originate from ancient Greek and Roman architecture, although they are used with Gothic architecture in some instances such as the pillars of the Doge's palace in Venice, Italy. 
Also, the wall carvings have a quarterfoil design which is also apparent in Gothic architecture. There is also the big altar which is found in the Twin Princes boss fight arena which shares the design of the main altar in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, Italy. And the best match I could find for the castle is the Mont Saint Michel Abbey which is located in France. So in general the setting of the castle is gothic as it has influences in the interior and the exterior of the castle and seems like Miyazaki loved the gothic setting from Bloodborne and was inspired to do the same in Dark Souls 3, albeit being more colorful and with more detail to make the player feel the might of the castle and generally Bloodborne didn't have a big interior level except for the DLC clock tower level, ooh that was a gigantic pain in the ass level but the design of it was really amazing and it holds one of the best bosses in the game Lady Maria of the clock. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I apologize if I did any mistakes with the architectural styles as this was done from pure research and also with the help of a couple of friends so I would be very much appreciated if you hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content in the future. So I'll be seeing you on my next video. Bye bye.